Hey everyone, how's it going? I am here today with a nitty gritty review of uh, another one of my favorite brushes and this is the Art of Shaving Fine Badger brush. Uh, this was actually the first brush that I ever purchased so it has a really sentimental place in my heart. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I, I love this brush and uh, it brings back a lot of memories and um, a lot of good times and really a lot of learning experiences for me in the world of wet shaving. Um, this is actually one of their older designs. They have a new design that's a little bit more stout of a body and uh, the bottom here is more like just a, a little ring rather than uh, the way this is designed. But I um, wanted to talk a little bit about this. You can see it's uh, it's got um, a really, really, really round knot here. Um, and uh, it, the bristles in the center are a lot higher than the bristles out to the side, um, and uh, and this gives it a um, this gives it a really really soft texture. Um, it's still got a decent amount of backbone, but that backbone is literally right there, right there in that center. Um, that's where that backbone is, uh, just right there in those bristles, and then the rest of these just sort of fan out, and um, and it lathers really well and um, <clears throat> it lathers really well and uh, performs really well every time. Now this is in Fine Badger, which is the mid-grade Art of Shaving Badger brush. I want to say that they have just a pure badger or, or badger, um, and then uh, then they also have, I think that they have a silver tip um, or super fine, something, something like that. I forget what their categories are, but um, this here, um, this is the Fine Badger, and this is the mid-grade brush, and, uh, you know, Art of Shaving gets a lot of hate because they're a big corporate store. For those of you who don't know, they're, they're a Gillette company. They're owned by Procter & Gamble, and um, so I really, truly believe that if King Camp Gillette were alive today, he would probably be the CEO of Art of Shaving. <laughs> Um, I think that uh, that store, for as much hate as it gets for the the corporate stuff and for being um, a box store, basically, for shaving, for the hate that it gets, they really do sell terrific products. Their shaving creams and soaps, in my opinion, are second to none. Um, their aftershaves and their balms are just tremendous. The scents that they use are great. Um, the uh, the brushes that they produce are terrific. Uh, you know, I haven't had a problem with this. This brush doesn't shed at all, um, and it performs really well. It's it's not a bad brush. It's actually a very good brush, and um, and I still use it, um, even though I've used you know chubby three Manjurians from Simpson. I still use this, um, and that's not to say that there's anything wrong with those brushes because they're some of my favorites, but. This, this brush, even though it's just a mid-grade brush, it can still hold its own, and, um, and I really I enjoy it a lot. So what I'm going to do is uh, I will lather it up for you and show you how it performs. Okay, I'm back, and here you can see the lather, and you can actually see the sort of bulb shape of the, um, of the brush, of the bristle. It, it's really it's round. It's really round. It's almost like there's a, a baseball sitting on top of this handle. Um, you can see the lather here, and because of the shape, of this knot because of the bristles, um, it doesn't hold tons of uh, of soap, um, but uh, it certainly holds enough to make a good lather, and um, it performs really well. You can see how round this is, just pulling it right off. And um, this is actually this this is I think it's a good brush for beginners. I think that it's a good brush. Um, to maintain as well because since it doesn't hold as much of the um, of the soap, it's a lot easier to clean, it's a lot easier to maintain, and so this is really good to learn on, but you can see it still whips up a great lather. And um, I'm a firm believer that if if you use the right technique, um, you can get a good lather out of any brush, and this, this certainly is no exception. So even though people knock them, um, I have greatly enjoyed shaving with these Art of Shaving brushes, and, um, and I think that they are uh, they're superior to some other brushes that um, are, are made that uh, that maybe are at a lower price point 
um, and some are even at a higher price point, but uh, I have in always enjoyed the performance of these brushes, and uh, I think that they're great. Uh, they're easy to come by. You can walk into their shop. You can go online and buy the brushes, um, and they are uh, they're well worth the investment. Uh, it's a good brush because um, it's also sturdy. I mean, I've had this. This is my first brush for wet shaving, and I've been wet shaving for years now. Uh, I don't even know, six years, seven years, something like that. And um, this brush is still holding up really well. Doesn't have any nicks in the handle. Um, it's it's really uh, sturdy construction, and um, and I love it. So uh, if uh, if you're in the mood and you want to go into the artist shaving store and you see the brush and you say, well, I don't know if it's what I want. Uh, well, give it a shot you might be impressed. So uh, I hope that you have a great day and shave on.